Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep and you know today we are going to have the super Saturday session. Every Saturday we are going to make super for you by either discussing about some legendary personality or about some new automotive technology. So guys last time when we met we discussed about the life story of Sir James Watt who is known to be the godfather of mechanical engineering. Today we are going to discuss about one more legendary personality that is Sir Isaac Newton. Yes, the father of physics. So guys, I feel everybody would be aware of his contribution in the field of calculus, classical mechanics, everything he have given like laws of motion, law of gravitation, equations of motion and also his work in the mathematics calculus and astronomy. So guys, when we are talking about Sir Isaac Newton, I always used to say he is the first love for every engineer because whenever you make your mind that you are going to go for engineering, you are going to select PCM, Physics, Chemistry, Maths and when you enter into that, you find Newton, Newton, Newton everywhere. So that's why I say he is to be the first love of every engineer. And whenever you are talking about uh, Sir James Watt, I would also like to add one thing that whoever the personality like Sir Newton you will see they were mathematician in the first stage because the first step is mathematics, second is physics, third is engineering. Now let us start the life story of Sir Isaac Newton. He born on 25th December 1642. When he born, he was a premature baby and doctor said he may not survive for more years. But you know after that what he did in his life. So all thanks to Almighty. Just three months before his birth, his father died and when he was three years old, his mother went for the second marriage. Because of which he had to live with his grandparents. And he always used to ask questions from his grandparents about the sun, about the earth, about the stars, about the astronomy. But at that time, physics was not much developed. So they were unable to answer. So when he was 12 years old, he took admissions into the king's school. But he was not good in the studies at that time. So, after some days, his stepfather also died. Then his mother wanted him to come back and work in the agricultural field for the livelihood. For the livelihood. So, he went back but he was not interested for work in agriculture. He was more interested in studies now. And he once again back to the school, worked very hard and this time he topped in the school. And because by looking his interest in the studies, one of his uncle helped him to take admission into the Trinity College, Cambridge. And when he took admission there, he had to work along with the studies for the livelihoods. But because of his hard work in the studies, he got scholarship in 1664. And in 1665, when his graduation was about to over, he completed a book on calculus who is famous by the name of Mathematica Principia Mathematica. And guys, after that he took admission for the masters. But at that time plague came because of which, because of which all the colleges were closed. So he had to go back to his home. And when he went back there for two years continuously he worked hard. He made a telescope which was one tenth of the size of available telescopes at that time. Then you would be aware of uh, his two prism experiment when he worked on the light and he get to know how seven colors converted into one and how the combinations of color works. So all this also was done by Newton. You also would be aware of his uh, apple experiment when he was, sit, uh, he was sitting under the tree, apple came onto his head and he get to know about the gravitation and he given the law of gravitation and other equation of motion which till date we are using in the application of engineering. So this was his great contribution. He became the mathematics professor in 1669. He was stubborn in nature, whenever he thought of doing something he was very, uh, you can say, hard working in that. Like he thought about studies, he cracked it. And guys, he died in 20th March 1726. 
and he was very brilliant mind his iq score was exceptional 192 but my dear being that much strong being that much intellectual being that much iq score mind still at some stage of his life he went through the mental breakdown so guys this was about the life of sir isaac newton which is very inspiring and obviously we cannot forget him for his contribution so salute to such wonderful personality hope you guys are enjoying these sessions these super saturdays and guys if you want any further discussion on the life of some specific scientist or some specific researcher you can write the name in the comment section we will be coming up with a fresh video on that on some other saturdays so goodbye for this session particularly and we will meet again